Well, let's start this story from the very beginning of the final race. It was the Ferrari with Louis Pretz that would lead us down towards turn number one. They, in a fierce battle, win a winner-takes-all scenario with Enrique Chavez. Enrique Chavez would pull to the right of screen. Louis Pretz getting a little bit wrong under braking. He would be forced to run straight on, and Enrique Chavez would go through and help himself to the race lead. It seemed Alan Coder in the second McLaren could take second place, but in the end, Pretz would hold on. This was a, one of the best moves we saw in GT Cup Open Europe. Rafael Villanueva but down the inside. Daniel Diaz Varela in the white and blue tried to make it hard for him in that Audi, but couldn't quite stop him from going through. Out of Estante would pull a gap. Meanwhile, with all the overtaking going on behind. Pit stops then happened in the race. This was the moment Vincent Abreu got in the car. He had an 18 second gap to chase to Miguel Ramos. Eastwood was fighting with Yannick Mettler. Eventually he would get through and go into sixth and eventually take the win. He continued to pick off people though. It wasn't an easy run for him. That was when he got past Mar Marcelo Hahn. The Honda would be a few laps later. Hahn would like to forget about that moment, almost costing him the championship, but he would get going and finish inside the top five. It ended in dramatic circumstances on the penultimate lap. Abril and Abril going into the back of Miguel Ramos there. Miguel Ramos in the gravel. He would lose out to the TF Sport car, who would come through, and they would eventually go on to win the race. Charlie Eastwood, a new look on the top step of the podium, and that for the third time this season.